Hello all, welcome back to Shri FC again. I am so happy to be back with you all. I hope you all are very very well and good. Wishing everyone a very very good day. And today Chelsea has won a match with all the off-field issues and everything that was going wrong. It was a very very important victory for the club today. A great performance from the guys in the second half and a very good day for Chelsea. 4-0 against the bottom half team. A team you can say most probably strangled Chelsea's title hope when Chilwell was fit, James was fit. It was Burnley who got a 1-1 draw against Chelsea and slowly started the decline of Chelsea in the title race. At that point when we last time played Burnley, we could have beaten them and gone 6 points clear. Sadly, it wasn't to be. But a great response by the players stood in the second half. Everyone was saying the first half was bad, same old Chelsea, disappointing. We are going to drop more points, we are going to get dragged in the top four ways. Harvest is not good, Pulisic is not good, Mount is not good, blah 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 blah. And everything has worked perfectly well. And here I am not criticizing the opinion of everyone. That's just overall saying how the thoughts were in the first half and how they instantly changed. And the first part I'm going to talk about is Reese James. Superb. He is a magnificent player. And I'm not going to cry here or say anything because if I start overly talking about Reese James, I'm going to have a sleepless night. Because at the moment, I'm only having one thought if James was fit for the two Brighton games. If James was fit for the more games, we still might have been in the title race. But overall, you cannot think over that. What's gone, that's gone. Tyler race for Chelsea is most probably gone and that's sad point. But it's so good to see James back. It shows he's one of Chelsea's most important player. And it also shows that we can have a very, very good end to the season. We still have Champions League to contend with. We still have FA Cup to contend with. We still have to finish the Premier League season highly, closing the gap, not getting dragged into top four battle and overall getting at least 80 or above points. And with James back, Everything is very nicely possible and it's a great win. I remember the Newcastle match very well. 65th minute, Newcastle nil, Chelsea nil and boom. In 10 minutes, Reece James scored 10 goal, uh, 2 goals, sorry, apologies for that. And Chelsea lead 2 nil and we win the game 3 nil. If there was no Reece James, we draw against Newcastle at St. James Park nil nil. Same against Burnley. If there is no Reece James, we do not score that first goal and it stays nil nil and then most probably Burnley score and win one nil. That's the difference uh, James brings. He's an absolute beauty for a striker. Harvest playing there, great crosses into the box, great threat and that's what Chelsea needed to break the teams down from the bottom. Now I'm coming to Harvest and Pulisic and they were superb again today. It was a very good performance for them, Harvest and Pulisic. They were very very good. Pulisic is now after a long time have uh, come back into the team and he's playing in his natural position. And he's showing the results that how good he can do. He has been playing right wing back, left wing back. And it's not been working. Sometimes it's a false nine. It's not his position. Now Pulisic, injury free, is playing most of his matches at his rightful position. And he's playing so well. And please, with a God blessing, I hope he stays fit. Because he's a beautiful player to watch. And Chelsea again played very, very well. Also, a big mention to Harvards. He's proving everyone what a great player he is. He always starts the season slow, but it ends it so, so well. And big shout out to Thiago Silva. That block was so necessary from Vagost. If he doesn't make that block, I'm not sure Mendy saves that. And Chelsea could be 1-0 down and we could be having a very different talk. So all the guys, all the players in the team, especially with all the off-field crisis, it's so good to see the guys stepping up, beating Luton 2-3 in the FA Cup after being 2-1 down and winning today. And also, we still have to think that for me, in these games, Kovacic should start over Kante because we do not need Kante for these games. I think it either has to be Kante Kova or Jorginho Kova. We have to have Kovacic for these games and the first half was still a bit disappointing but a great comeback for the side back to back clean sheet five goals in two games in premier league and two away wins and it's looking very good so far with the way things going with we ending our break against norwich away newcastle home lil uh, away where we have two nil with uh, lead on aggregate and middlesbrough in the fa cup with no disrespect intended we should be beating at the end of the break, we could find ourselves close to City Liverpool, nicely slotted in third position in the FA Cup semis and also in the Champions League quarters. But that depends on us. We have to finish the season well and this is a good run and we need to continue it. So with this, I end the video. I'm so happy. I'm enjoying my moment and hope you all have a very, very good day. And Chelsea, up the blues. Nothing will deter us and this club will always keep moving forward. Thank you, everyone. Hoping you have a very, very good day and please do like, subscribe on the channel. It helps a lot. Thank you.